So, um, welcome again, and let's begin with our first lecture demonstration, which is by Julia and Sven, and they will uh, give you the rest. <laughs> With the rest. Yeah. Welcome at Sonoy um, again. Uh, today we're gonna show you how to actually, yeah, um, how to push up. Oh, I'm not. Yes, I forgot. Sorry. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> um, how to put on a live performance using Ardour. Yeah. So, which is, you know, for example, um, later this day, there's going to be an open mic. And let's say you wanted to participate, but you don't do not, you are not from here, not from Cologne. You didn't want to log your equipment, your amps all the way. You just have your laptop or you even have a laptop from someone else with Ardua, and you still want to perform live, you can do that with Ardua. And we're going to show you a real quick, real simple way to do that for guitar and voice. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, leave all, we leave out all the um, most technical stuff because there are dozens of lectures you can watch um, and you may have to do before. Um, but um, we concentrate on how to, to run your show and uh, feel confident with yeah. your performance. That's the main aspect yes. you concentrate on. Okay. Okay. So, <coughs> as I said, we are going to uh, perform with guitar and voice. And we're... Oh, should we stand like that? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and um, uh, we're going to do that by performing a song that Sven wrote. And the song is called Birthday, which is kind of appropriate because um, we have the birthday of Sunoy. And it is the seventh year. It's like it's uh, seven years ago we started, but it's the fifth adoration of Sunoy because we left two years out of the, because of the pandemic. So it's kind of the birthday of Sunoy. So the song um, is appropriate, I think. And um, we'll start by, yeah, figuring out how to make the guitar sound good. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to start? Yeah, we, we already loaded some uh, plugins, but they are all in the default settings, and we now uh, run through that and show what what you can do, um, and concentrate on yeah, just figuring out to to get a basic sound. Um, the the riff of the song basically is uh, like that. it and yeah Julia mm, can you uh, open the guitar X amplifier X plugin I hope you can see it um, we have some controls there um, like uh, different um, uh, tube emulations and different uh, tone stack styles and uh, different speaker setups in the top. And uh, yeah, the, the typical controls like pre-gain, distortion, drive, uh, the master gain, and the voicing uh, like treble, mid, and bass. Um, let's start with, uh, with the tone stack. Sure. Um, you may change it while I'm playing listen to it. Nothing's changing so far. Yeah, I think... Uh, <laughs> is there something? Qu quite... Uh, oh, yeah. Ah, okay. You can... Uh, so some of the um, settings um, also turn down or turn up the volume. So sometimes you have to be a bit careful to not damage your ears <laughs> when you're switching sounds. Um, I think I'd go with the Trin Reverb style tone stack. This one? Yeah, this one. Okay. And um, yeah, I think you can give me some drive. Sure. Turning up the drive. Not, oh. not too much, <laughs> but a slight overdrive sound would work here. Like that? 
Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Like that? Yeah, that's that sounds that sounds good. Yeah, we have a slight overdrive, that's good. Okay, um yeah, next. Uh what about bringing in some treble and mids? So in the tone stack area. Start with the treble maybe? Yeah. Should I, should I, like, crank it up for yeah, start, yeah. and then you can say you want less? What the fuck? This is, like, all the way? Yeah. You can go back a bit. A bit. But I think the guitar signal is uh, l more low, and so we have to pull in some <laughs> travel. Like that, okay. or even less? No, that's good. That's good, okay. That's fine, thank you. Okay, um... Yeah, may uh, turn down the bass a bit, so we got more room for the highs. More or less? Yeah, I think that's okay. 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 I think for for a first set, that would be good. Um, always remember when when you're um, working with um, more instruments, you have to adjust the settings so that the instruments. Uh, kind of feel balanced. balanced yeah we'll see that <laughs> in a couple of minutes yeah yes i think uh yeah basically that's it um can you load up the ace high and low pass Sh filter sure um that's a combinated uh filter yeah this second one um that filters out the very low end and the very high edge and if you're um working with um, amplification simulation um, they tend to sometimes, uh, especially when, when you use much distortion, um, to, to, to add uh, very noisy high-pitched sounds. For that reason, I uh, usually, usually um, set a low-pass cutoff frequency <laughs> around 10,000 hertz or 10 kilohertz. And uh, to control the low end, the very lowest note on a standard tuning is about 80 hertz. Um, so you can set the high pass cutoff frequency at about 80 hertz. That would work. So we have more control and we have already a frequency range uh, that the guitar um, is about to happen and uh, we have some room for the other instruments if we would use any. I kind of don't like your touchpad. <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, double click on it and then uh, type in. The frequency. Oh, okay, thank you. I think that's much easier. Ta a thousand. Th what what was it? Th a th Ta ten thousand. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And eighty. Some sometimes it um, it may be important or it may be better to um, go up a little bit higher. We can over yeah. exaggerate it. Um, maybe you can turn it to oh, three hundred, and we will see that the low end completely. Yeah, it completely vanished. That would be, oh, that's not a guitar. <laughs> it's a flat, really flat sound. Yeah, yeah. but um, in a mixing situation, sometimes you, you, you may need it. Um, another frequency that, uh, that uh, you can apply most of the times is about 100 hertz, 150 hertz. It depends on what you're playing. It depends on the, the other instruments and where you want to situate the instruments in the frequency range. But um, I think for now, we go with 80 hertz. We have no other low-end instruments. I think May Julia you play it again? Yeah, I think Julia wouldn't... Uh so this is kind of flat. Yeah. This has no oomph to it. Yeah. <laughs> the warmth. Yeah. <laughs> yes. The warmth. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think uh, that's okay. What with, at first. What with this guy? Uh, um, I'm sorry, no. Uh, oh, um, that's me. Yeah, we can. <laughs> if, if we, um, with this if guy? we have too much low iron and... Um, we want to to use another kind of filter that doesn't uh, really like cut off the low frequencies, but um, turn a range of low frequencies down. We can uh, use um, a low shelf. Um, that's the first frequency filter in this combinated uh, filter rows. Um, and I think, yeah, to clean a little bit up. Um, 
you can leave it at 160 hertz mm -hmm. um, and pull the gain down like I don't know 1.5 dB. I think it the the guitar would uh, would be a bit a bit cleaner, like uh, less muddy. I don't yep. know if you hear a difference. It may depend on the speaker and the room again. Um, but I think that that's yeah. that's the setting that works. Okay. So, okay. Now let's switch our roles. Let's switch. Yeah. Now it's your time. Now we get to the vocals. Okay. So. Yeah. So um, if you give me the chord, I can sing the first oh, yeah. uh, line of the song. Yeah. Here it goes. I've been locked inside my mind for far too long. So the very s first thing I would want to change is give me some reverb. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> because... Singers um, like reverb. Yeah. Well, yeah, we do. And especially for this kind of style, I, you notice maybe I kind of sh shout. I've been locked in. So uh, for singers, it's really important to, um, especially if you're in this like, kind of shouting um, style, um, to have the feeling of room. Because if you don't have reverb, if you don't have the feeling of room, you're feeling um, like you're shouting against a wall or maybe even a velvet-covered wall. And you would never do that. You would shout if you have to reach someone far away. And to feel comfortable... Um, in this shouty style of singing. Yes, you need reverb. Very good. So, um, yeah, that's, oh, there's some, well, let's try it with that reverb. Okay. Yeah? Let's do it. Yeah. I've been locked inside my mind for far too long. Yeah, that's better. That feels more right. Okay, so and then um, I'd go, go into the equalizing part of it all. Mm -hmm. um, for example, I'd like to push the higher frequencies, the um, treble frequencies, because, again, this kind of shouting style, um, it should sound a little bit more um, squeaky, crunchy, <laughs> and um, we can push that by... Um, elevating the higher frequencies. You can, like, there's a lot of different higher frequencies and you can, like, totally be specific about that. We won't be. This is, like, the very, um, very easy uh, how-to. Uh, just so the higher the treble frequencies. Yes, yes, I can already tell by my speaking voice that it's a little more crispy. Yes, let's try it. Okay. I've been locked inside my mind for far too long. Yes, yes, that's better. And then also, I would uh, like to have some support in the lower regions, like in the bass frequencies, because in this song, um, you <laughs> this Sven wrote this song for himself, for his voice, and my voice is not his voice. And uh, so when we first tried it out, uh, we noticed that um, the um, it's not my really my um, the register. And so you can <laughs> you can tell by he's using a capodaster on an electrical guitar, and um, to make it a little bit higher for, so that it fits my voice. It would be, for me, even better to d make it even higher. It's still a little bit low for me, um, but that's not really, that's like limit for <laughs> the guitar what, that we can do here with the Capodaster. And so it's still a little bit low for me, so, the, so at some points in the song, uh, the notes are like on the very edge of my um, low register, and I could let you use a little boost for that. And so if we push the, um, the lower frequencies, that's helpful. Let's do the first few, uh, two lines of the song so everybody can kind of get what I'm getting at. I've been locked inside my mind for far too long. 
Wait another time for any other to join in. Yeah, kind of. Maybe even more. Even more. Yeah, yeah okay. maybe a little bit. I don't know. It also. I don't hear exactly the same that you guys do because I rather hear the monitor and the, the room sound mixed with in my ears. But well, yes. Yeah. Uh, maybe the second the verse first, again. Yeah, yes. The second, the yeah. Second line. Mm -hmm. When all the time for any other to join. Yeah, and also another thing you can do that's not got uh, nothing to do with software or something. It's the Nabesprechungs um, effect. Uh, What's that called in English? Uh, I don't proximity know. Proximity effect. Proximity effect um, to like just go really. Oh yes, yeah. It's <laughs> just go really uh, uh, on top of the no no um, near really. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Um, to the microphone, um, it boosts. It also boosts your lower uh, frequencies with these kind of microphones. Um, and also, when I'm when I would be really shouting, I would get away from the microphone a little bit more. Um, you can see that with singers that they have kind of like a, a, a analog compressor. Yeah. If they are really loud, they they just pull away from the microphone a little bit. If they are really like whispery, um, they, they just like really hog the microphone. Um, yeah, so that's not got nothing to do with software or open source, but a little trick for, for singers. Yeah, so um, yeah, that's that's better. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let me let me um, turn down some of the low mid frequencies. Okay. Because um, I feel like um, these are getting in the way. Okay, sure. Especially if we turn up the lower end. Yes. Yeah, and I think there's nothing that is much that much important. That's happening voice. there. <laughs> yes, sure. Let, let, let's try a frequency around, I don't know, uh, 330 hertz. Okay. And um, yeah, slightly turning it up like this and... Oh yeah. Du 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 Two lines again? Yeah. The low, higher, lower end. I've been locked inside my mind for far too long Waiting all the time for any other to join yeah. Yes? Yeah. yeah? Satisfied? Yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> would you do that, is that uh, specific for a female voice or would you, would you do that also for a male voice? Uh, it depends on the song. Yeah, okay. And on the voice. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> I, I, I think uh, basically male voices are much, ca can have much more lower end. Yeah, um, sure. But it depends. Yeah, it depends on the person. Like, not for Maroon 5, for example. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. Okay, so that's anything else? No. Um, should we do one run, run through of the thing and then maybe adjust yeah. the, the rest? Um, but before, um, we haven't situated the guitar yes. into the same room as you are in. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, come into the room! <laughs> um, let me say some things about that. Um, when Julia asked to um, add some reverb, I added uh, um, a bus, a stereo bus, and um, in this bus I set the um, reverb plug in, and I kind of um, send, with an AUX send control, um, Julia's voice input into this room bus. That uh, makes uh, working with a room that should work like a real room um, very comfortable and flexible. Um, it makes it feel like we're in the same room. Yes. Exactly. I can just uh, drag and drop this AUX send and now I'm in the same room. Oh, now you have reverb, yeah. yes. Um, but um, if, if we want to um, uh, simulate like how, where are we in this room? If, if I would be standing like, uh, she's a front singer and I would be standing like more in the background, I would, um, I would change the amount. Like um, hmm. more reverb means you are more uh, further back in the room. Mm. Yeah. So I would uh, 
send less of Julia's voice and maybe uh, more of mine. So it feels like you're far farther away. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, like you do. I'm, I'm in yeah, the, in you're in the, the back, back of the room. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to be in the back of the room? Uh, not that much, but no. uh, yeah, I think yeah, this, this would work. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Oh, but I, can, you, can you push me a little, little, little bit more? Because I kind of feel like I don't have that much reverb anymore. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay. thank you. Okay. Just this one through. Okay. One, one run through? Yeah, one yeah, okay. more round. Sure. I've been locked inside my mind for far too long. Waiting all the time for any other to join in. Always dependent on somebody to feel strong. Underrating this is my life to be. You're not alone by myself, I pray. Just on your own and I'll be there all the way. Yes, so I, right now I feel, I, I don't know how it's in for the audience, but I hear myself re really loud and I don't really have to hear all that much from the guitar. I think you should yeah, like just turn become down. louder. <laughs> May use uh, the cabinet setting that is like the volume of the whole cabinet. A little bit more? Because I'm really, I'm, I'm going for it, you know? <laughs> yeah, of course. And you're only picking. It would be different if you if you would yeah. be playing like the, the guitar. Yeah, it's sure. More louder. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah I, uh, it kind of depends on the reverb too. If you m add much more reverb, then the sound like yeah. is getting in the back. Mm -hmm. So um, you have to compensate when you're adding much reverb. You have to compensate with uh, the volume and also with the frequency. Yeah. So maybe that's that's good. Yeah. Yeah, let's try it. One let's more time? It. Yeah, one more time. And then I think... <laughs> yeah, and I think... <laughs> if, if nobody uh, intervenes... <laughs> yeah, so that's... Yeah? Okay, yeah, we yeah, can. Yeah, sure. We can, of course. We can increase the room size. <laughs> more, always more reverb. We can increase the room size and we and, can also... And we do have time, so maybe we make yeah. one more uh, run through and then we can do exactly this, like let the audience mix it. Oh yeah. Yeah, we could do that. We have time. We uh we have time. Yeah. Okay. So one more run through with okay. the with more reverb. Sure. That's good. That's good. I've been locked inside my mind for far. Waiting all the time for any other to join in. Always dependent on somebody to feel strong. Underrating this is my life to You're not alone by myself, I pray. Just on your own, and I'll be there all the way. So, so that's it. Hey. <coughs> So, 
Well, this would be the part for questions, and also uh, I, I really enjoy doing that as an audience member to, can you try this and that, can you try this and that, because if you really want to know how um, it sounds, you, this is the moment to do it. So questions or uh, requests. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, we need uh, to give you a microphone so that the people on the internet can hear you as well. Yeah. This is always important. Hi. A nice voice, great, great guitar. Um, can you tell me a little about how it feels regarding delay? Uh, do you feel some, when because it goes through software and it's, we all know, or those that use it? So right now I do not feel any delay. Yeah, um, that's the technical part we, we left out, but um, um, yeah, there, there's, there's much of information and uh, yeah, later I can point you to that. Um, at the moment, we are running about at eight milliseconds. So that's latency. perfectly fine yeah. for a live performance. I think uh, very good singers, and I think you are a very good singer, uh, <laughs> would still notice, but not noticing it like... Like it disturbs me, no. ...real la latency, yeah. but it kind of feels like not 100% tight, but you can work with it. Yeah, but I just, I mean, that's... Even if even if it would be wouldn't be running through software right now, we there there's in live situations you have all these kind of different setups. To we had some problem with the feedback uh, yesterday evening and tomorrow uh, this morning. And uh, at one point I said, I I might not even need to use the monitor. And then if if it if everything fails, we can like, just leave the monitor out. And then you just if even if I would have an amp here you would have this effect of just hearing yourself through these uh, room. Uh, so you all, as a singer you, or as a musician, you always have like situations where, situations where the sound is not perfect and you kind of have to adjust to it. <laughs> so um, this is perfectly fine with, with me. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot. This sounds great. I was going to ask a si actually the same question, <coughs> but not because of timing delay but because you get a bit of coloration because in this small room your voice mm -hmm. is so strong that half of our concert experience yeah. is your voice as it travels through the air yes. and then if you have eight milliseconds the PA system is going to hit late yes which can be nice because it gives us good localization on you but it also tends to color the sound sure mm -hmm. and that is something that I always find is really hard if you want I've, I've been using Ardor for for these kind of gigs as well and it's really tough because you need to have a sound device mm -hmm that you can run reliably at really low latencies. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, it's the measurement is how far is the kick drum or how far is the singer away from the first line in the audience. And you want to make sure that the, the time delay between those is not so much. If you go to a big hall, it doesn't matter because yes. then all the energy comes from the speakers. Yeah. But it's also for you working with the monitor, the effect is the same. It's not like your rhythm gets screwed up because that is too fast to hear. A drama might notice it, but most musicians won't, but you hear coloration. It's the same if you have headphones on, you listen to yourself and your voice to the bone mixes with the headphone that's a bit later. That can be really upsetting. So uh, what I wanted to ask you, if you can give us one experience where you play the just a few lines of the song and you turn off the reverb for the voice and you sing into into the back, sing just sing into the curtain so we don't hear your voice. And then with we can the microphone? See or yeah, with the microphone. So yeah, then okay. we can see if we can get rid of the coloration and get a feeling of how strong it is. Like, like really like... Seri yeah, yeah, I'm serious. There. Like this? Yes. Like this? Okay, yes. so... You, did you, you, yeah, you turn, turn, turned off the reverb. <laughs> okay, let's do it. That's fun. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> I've been locked inside my mind for far too long. I've been locked inside my mind for far too long. For for me, this made a difference. I don't know if it did for you guys. Yeah. So. Well, but this is <coughs> also like, this is I, I, if I if I if I may, um, this is also like the thing with um, what what actually what you are actually able to hear a difference, and for the singer how it feels, because this like apart from like turning your back, but <laughs> this this was even more muffled, and 
you you get self conscious as a singer and and as soon as you're like having these conflicting emotions your vo vocal cords are not doing your bidding anymore like perfectly i mean the more professional you are the more you are able to handle that but um this is all like a like a whole thing so not good <laughs> <laughs> yeah so but you were able to hear the difference cool okay or not cool <laughs> Yeah. Um, I have an online, yeah, give online question, quick question. Yeah. Um, they are asking what your guitar is. Wh what it is? Yeah, what what kind of guitar? Uh, uh, okay, yeah, it's, it's um, a kind of a travel guitar um, because I don't want to carry around that big guitar. <laughs> it's a uh, yeah, standard travel guitar that is uh, it has the, the same length of the fretboard, so you don't have another tuning or anything like that but um, you have a less massive body and yeah I, it's a standard guitar just for traveling it is, it is m a bit smaller <laughs> Hoffner yeah oh my god I sound Hoffner. like can you give me the reverb back oh my god yeah <laughs> please <laughs> just uh, switch it on again the uh. in the um, room where can you, can you yeah I can do it <coughs> it's here the room Oh, there, yes. Thank you. Yeah. For the reverb, uh, can you try a little bit uh, larger room size and to sink a little bit far further from the microphone? Yeah. Yeah. I crank it all up. I don't you know if you cho chose a normal room for the... Yes. Oh, so now this is... It's a hall. Hall, <laughs> yes. Further away, um, I'm, I'm not quite sure. Where do I lose the sound? Do I lose it here? Yeah, that's kind of... So, so maybe here. Okay, so, yeah. Da, 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 da. So maybe here, yeah, okay. Less on the guitar? Less room size, okay. Yes. <laughs> like this? Or even less? That's fine, okay, good. <laughs> so, okay. but that's, you like it more like that, or what, uh, what was it that you wanted to see there? In your face. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I guess that's also like preferences, right? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Any more requests? Yeah. Uh, short general question, and then the right, uh, correct question um, uh, regarding the singing into the curtain I'm not sure you mentioned that you have a monitor um, yeah. Yeah. but I'm not sure if you are really listening to uh, the audience uh, speakers here so I'm I'm not sure as well I have step with the it sounds for me a little bit uh, less loud than your monitor and so we're hearing more from your monitor at the moment as far I as know. yes I would notice know? is it so I don't know yeah yeah exactly and I'm yeah if I, if I you can, you can if I stand yeah. here, if I stand here, I can't, I can't hear the monitor okay. anymore. So you, okay, then it's not very loud. So it's, but it's okay. So uh, my um, original question was um, regarding your voice, and maybe I'm wrong, but um, I noticed some dis distortion when uh, yeah. you, you are singing very loud. Yes, I, I did too. I yeah. don't, I don't know. Maybe the, maybe it's too much um, treble. Maybe. Sorry. Uh, we have a limit limiter um, included. Maybe it's not fast enough. I can. It just has a, has a release. Um, as we were working out the session, um, we yeah, we were um, leveling, and I don't know. Maybe it maybe it was fine then, but yeah. I don't uh, we know. we uh, you can see it here in the in the session. Yeah. We hadn't have we any clipping in the in we the channels, so I don't know. It may depend on the um, speaker setup on and the room. Um, we didn't do a very thorough sound check. Wow, yeah. this is. Yeah, I'm I'm 
I also <laughs> thought that there maybe is some plastic in the room which <laughs> creates something. Like yeah, okay. maybe even. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's actually something like that because it's um, like the speaker is in against the leg of the table or something. Mm, yeah. This is we could go on forever. Yeah. With <laughs> these kind of uh, particular, especially in this room, believe us, we have <laughs> experience with yeah. that. Yesterday was late. <laughs> yes. Yesterday. <laughs> so. Okay. Any. Yeah. Here is a question. Distortion is good for this kind of yes. uh, song, I think. Uh, it sure. adds thickness to the voice uh, if it's done right. Um, also, what about compression and a little bit for this song, I would even add some delay maybe at the end of lines, which is difficult for live situations. But if, if, I, if I were to do... Do we have, we have time? Should we try that? Yeah. Do you wanna which one first? Compression on the vocals? Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Let's do compression on and the vocals. So then I'll um, stop doing... The compression <laughs> and also um, of course I know sound technicians hate that kind of stuff singers doing this because of course it makes it harder to mix it um, it's just as a singer you you are like you experience all these kind of diff diff uh, different situations and just sometimes you have to learn to do that because otherwise you're stranded <laughs> so compression yeah I don't know. Um, should I shout some? Yeah. I've been locked inside my mind for far too long. I'm higher. <laughs> um, always dependent on somebody to feel strong. I don't know. Yeah, like that. Can you yeah. give us the old room back? Uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I can. I feel like I feel like a Montserrat Caballé, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So maybe two lines with that, with the compression. Yes. Um, maybe uh, can somebody see actually the uh, the um, yeah the values and if somebody is very good at uh, <laughs> compressor settings <laughs> in this situation and want to um, adjust. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us how to. T adjust. Tell, tell us. <laughs> I think that is how I would start, and then it would be some time to figuring it out. But let's yeah, see how it works. See. I've been locked inside my mind for far too long. Waiting all the time for. request. <laughs> yeah, I think the basic compression is nice, but it feels a bit like it doesn't have the energy of your original voice. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's because the attack time is really short. So it okay. will kill even the consonants and, and yeah. the throat noises yeah. that you make. So if you add that, if you bring that to like, say, 20 milliseconds, then all the roughness in the beginning of, of words will come through. Okay. <coughs> yes. <laughs> Let's work One with more. This. Always dependent on somebody to feel strong. Yeah? Yeah? Yes. Even more. 30? Okay. So, what was the second compression and delay? Yes. Delay. Some delay, okay. maybe. Uh, um, let's see how. Oh, uh, the, the more compression, the yes. Can Live with that compression. <laughs> <laughs> with okay. that yeah. Always dependent on somebody to feel strong. All right. You're satisfied? Okay. Where's the room? Where's the yeah where? Yeah, we switched it back. Away. Yes, it's oh. kinda is. It kinda is. It, it, sh it shouldn't. Jesus um, we just uh, yeah, decreased the room size because Julia wasn't feeling it. Yeah, well but then, with then that do, large the hall do, do the hall in again. That large do hall the hall alone. again. Do, do the hall again. It's okay, okay, let's do the hall again. The yes. audience likes the, the hall. hall. Yes. How, how much square meters is this room, Flo? <laughs> Roughly? 
50, 50 square meters. 50 kilometers. Just, ah, nice. yes. <laughs> Just for everyone in the, in the internet audience. Yes. So, okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Delay. Delay. delay on the so road. maybe add some delay. Like, yeah. but not how much? A quarter. A quarter. A quarter. Um, I would go with the bus too. Would you do it as an insert? <laughs> <laughs> Try it. <laughs> Try it. Okay, let's let's use a different bus for this one. Um, and let's call it delay. Stereo bus. I insert a delay plugin. And while you're doing that, maybe I can do some. I'm a I'm a music educator and I um, teach singers and I really want to say one thing. For everybody who's singing with microphones, I really urge you to learn this stuff. Because otherwise, in these situations, you're always um, left to the devices, the devices of, of someone else. else. If, if you, you like, like it's, it's so, so important, important to, to, um, um, to, to know, know what, what you, you need for your, your voice. voice and, and um, to, to make control. sure the technicians, um, like, like uh, I, I mean, I a good technician will do that, but, but, but uh, sometimes, sometimes you're in situations, situations where, like, like Somebody, somebody is at the, at the pult uh, who does not, not really know their way, and then, then it's, it's it's always good to know um, these the stuff. So, so I urge singers, singers to educate, educate themselves about, about this kind of, kind of stuff. stuff. I'm not an expert in, in any way on that, but, but I, like, I like just, just the basics. basics. Yeah. That's, That's always, always good, good. To, to to advocate, advocate for yourself in these situations. <laughs> so, so we have some yeah we have some delay yeah let's try it. The default is already a quarter note. Other is a delay. Time, okay, like 100 milliseconds. Oh yeah, you you're right. Um, where is it? Middle. Uh, this one. Fifty. Okay. So now we have ooh, a ooh. channel full of. I would uh, decrease the volume so it's not <laughs> the same volume as the um, dry signal. Let's go with this. Maybe the whole thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, we can yeah, can yeah, try. Sure, sure. I've been locked, locked inside, inside my mind, mind for far too long. Waiting all the time for any other to choose. Always dependent. for sure. the additions. <coughs> so maybe that's the perfect mix yeah. for today, or, or any, any further requests? requests? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So, so uh, you will perform um, Yeah, if, you, if you're interested in yeah. this yeah. song. Yeah. Um, um, later there will be an open mic and I will perform it. Um, in, in the, the right, right key. key. In the right key. <laughs> 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 because this key would be too, too high for me. But um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm 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 sorry we haven't managed to do a performance together. <laughs> <laughs> next, next time. Next time. <laughs> next year. So, <laughs> so okay. thank, thank you very, very much, much and have, have fun, fun with, with the rest, rest of the noise. <laughs>